It's been nearly a year. Like we took, put her cleats in a box. But Lori Holodeff hasn't changed much in her daughter's bedroom. Alyssa's shoes, retainer, are still in place, and there's lots of pictures and books memorializing Alyssa Holodeff as a young soccer star. Taking um, some of Alyssa's hair. And cutting Special keepsakes. The shooter didn't take everything from me. A lock of her hair. Kept in this special box. Dirty laundry, as it was before the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. I want her back. Yeah. I want her back. <sighs> Everything is changing. Everybody's moving on their life, but Alyssa's stopped. The 14-year-old tried to hide under a table, but was shot 10 times. You know, and she just had love for everyone, and it's just very painful. I did not want any other parent to go through the pain and anguish that I go through every day. Aladef is using her pain for advocacy, winning a school board seat and starting a foundation to make schools safer, a dizzying pace of activism she says helps her handle the grief. I know I can't change what happened on 214, but I can change what can happen moving forward. And if I can change the life of one person and make an impact for one person, um, I'm gonna honor Alyssa and make sure that her death was um, not in vain. That's the driving force keeping this grieving mom going, still not believing her daughter is gone. And for me, it's honestly still 214, 18. It's, this has, it's not really set in that this is a reality. Like for me, I feel that Alyssa still is coming home. Like she's at her soccer game and, and she's still gonna walk through this door. One year later, Joshua Plogel, The Associated Press, Parkland, Florida.